Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is main event time. Before we get to the actual match, we're going to be joined by the TCWF World Heavyweight Champion and a former Fist of Iron Tournament winner in his own right, the first Fist of Iron Tournament winner, Hijo Del Reyes. He knows Baylor and even left this tournament leads to championship goals. He's a multiple time world champion now. We're going to be joined at ringside by him and apparently his lovely girlfriend, Rebecca Delano. Welcome, welcome. Take a seat. Take a seat. Well, take a seat too, champ. There you go. We're ready to watch some main event action. A match that's gone everybody's interest since the start of the night. And definitely an outcome and a finals I wasn't really expecting. Nonetheless, ladies and gentlemen, here comes the Disco. Ladies and gentlemen, this is your main event of the evening. It is the final round of the Fist of Iron Tournament. Introducing first, fighting out of Funky Town, USA. He is the reigning and defending Fist of Iron Tournament winner, B. B. Disco. The B. Disco, this is defending his crown as the King of Iron Fist. This is also a redemption. He wants that world title back. He wants to defend his crown as King of Iron Fist. Despite his match with Zayn Almeida and the post-match assault by Calavera, he is still going in this. So is this man. And his opponent, fighting out of Iwate, Japan, Rurouni Muto. If you told me this man was going to beat Rocky Blade in the semifinals, I wouldn't have believed you. If you told me that while Rudy Mudo had a chance to be the number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship, I wouldn't have believed you. But after tonight, after he beat Rocky Blade, after he got his way into his finals to face BB Disco, he has made a believer out of me. I still have my doubts that he could beat BB Disco. To be brutally honest, I still have my doubts that he could be beat this guy. But he's going to die trying. He wants that world title opportunity. He is so close. He is soaring so close to the sun. And he has a chance to potentially be the next world heavyweight champion. Well, Rooney started with a headlock, thrown into the corner, evaded that Bronco Buster on the top rope. I, I have to say it, I've become a believer in Ra Rooney Mudo's abilities. Well, look at this, a Bronco Buster of his own! Followed by an uppercut. Beautifully done there by Ra Rooney Mudo. Now trying to choke out BB Disco. BB Disco might be at a disadvantage now that I think about it. The post-match assault by Calavera could have played its toll. He had time to rest. But he spent it trying to find, hunt down Calavera and try to take him out of the equation. That may have cost him this, this match already. Wait a minute, what is this? Gory Neckbreaker! The gory Neckbreaker. There by BB Disco. Not falling off a hangman's elbow. This will be the interesting contest of the night, definitely. I, I've become a believer in Rao Rudy Mudo, a beautiful monkey flip. And like always, always been a big BB Disco fan. A lot of people are BB Disco fans. He's got a cult following bigger than anybody else. You gotta think where the fans are at this. I mean, they've they've seen to cheer Rao Rudy a little more since he beat. Rocky Blade. That I think they'll always love BB Disco just that bit more because he's probably the most entertaining superstar here. He's definitely the most entertaining superstar here. Big roundhouse kick there by Rooney Mudo. 
Both men flying all over the place trying to take each other down. Big back suplex there by Raruni Muto. Mistake made there by Baby Disco. Kick to the midsection. Counter there by Raruni. Kick to the midsection. Stumped. And then he's going to choke him out again. An unorthodox style in, in uh, Ra Rooney's moveset. Wrenching away at the arm. Throwing him in the corner. And again with the Broker Buster on the top rope. Throwing in a few punches and going for the uppercut again. Yes, he hits it. Stomp. He's choking him out. Raw Rooney needs to take advantage of what Calavera started. He might be friends with BB Disco. But he, he's got to keep his eye on the prize. World title opportunity. This divine tournament. A chance to be the world champion is at stake. Disco is now trying to try and slow the momentum down for Rauruni Muda, but he's been maintaining some momentum for quite some time. There's that big Enzo Gary. That's a good equalizer. Oh, spoke too soon. A dragon whip. That attack by Calavera is already showing its effects on BB Disco. It's not fighting back too well. I I, I think I'm gonna believe this. I think Rauruni has a chance. I'm I'm still I'm still kind of quizzical. I'm still a bit judgmental whether or not he's going to win this tournament, but he's definitely putting on a fight. You can tell he wants it, but whether or not he gets it depends on how badly Bibi Disco is hurt. Obviously, not bad enough to not do that crucifix head scissors into the arm drag. Well, it's again Raw Rooney takes the momentum, just drops him back down that belly to belly. Bibi Disco is trying his best. A big roundhouse kick again. <laughs> oh, God. That was a Kopu kick. And a big drop kick. Another drop kick. He's doing his best to try and keep Bibi Disco down. Bibi Disco is always a fighter. He's always going to fight back. BB Disco is a is the biggest box office draw for the TCW Astros. You gotta think winning the world title back again. Winning the this tournament for a second time in a row will also give him that extra star power. There's that side headlock again by Ra Rooney Mudo again, giving the torque. And again with the sleeper slam. It's been a good move so far. And oh god, not punching him out of the air. And now, just like Zayn Almeida, working the legs. Being clever, being smart. And now you can see BB Disco trying to fight back. A big spinning wheel kick. Another hangman's elbow. You just gotta think of how BB Disco got to the point of being the world champion. Wait, look at Rooney Muno still standing up. Sabat kick countered. Clothesline countered into a Japanese arm drag. Crucifix back into the arm drag. And a drop kick. Again, BB Disco's rise to being world champion was quite a big one. He started from little to nothing. He was just a well, just a comical gimmick, and then he just started winning titles. He won the Empire title when he was still active. Won the Intercontinental title. Then he won the World title. After winning this very tournament, three out of four men who have won this tournament have gone on to win the World title. Takamichinoku, again, being the only exception. So you got to think, for BB Disco, this is a guaranteed World title opportunity and he's done it before, he can do it again. But for Rooney Mudo, he has an opportunity to become a world champion 
for the first ever time. Big double chop right to the chest. I can't express enough how much this would mean for Ra Rudy Mudo to step out from being just some some guy that can't get out of the tag team division to being a main event player in one night. This is the biggest opportunity in Ra Rudy's career. Right now, this is the biggest match in Ra Rudy's career. Head scissors on drag again by BB Disco. Knee into the corner. Now a tree of woe. Ra Rudy gets out of it. A crossbody, a counter, and a follow-away slam by BB Disco. Now BB Disco, I think he's setting up for the vinyl cutter. He beat Zayn Almeida with it earlier. Got him up. Ra Rudy counters. Big DDT. Oh, and he's trying to hit the Ra Rudy roundhouse. Oh no! Counted. Looked like he was going for that shining wizard again. A drop toe hold. BB Disco again trying for the vinyl cutter. He's got him on the shoulders. Spinning him around. Vinyl cutter! It is all over now. Ra Rudy tried. It became so. Oh! What? He kicked out! I was convinced that was it! I was about to say, Ra Rooney just flew too close to the sun and got burnt, but he kicked out of the vinyl cutter! He is making a believer out of me tonight! Crossbody missed! At, wait, what is. What is Ra Rooney doing? He is mocking him. He's mocking him. Looks like he was going for the vinyl cutter. Disco. Picks him up again. Vinyl cutter. Reversing an attempt at the vinyl cutter with his own vinyl cutter. This is it. You tried your best, Ra Rooney, but it wasn't. Oh my. He kicked out again. Yo, Del Reyes can't believe it. Maybe Disco can't believe it. He kicked out of the vinyl cutter twice. Now BB, he's trying for the fucking room super kick. Wait, ducks under. Raw Rooney. Raw Rooney roundhouse out of nowhere. Out of nowhere with the Raw Rooney roundhouse. Goes to the cover. One, two. Oh, God. So close. Oh, my God. I'm losing my voice. This is intense. No matter what kind of wrestling fan you are, this is intense. Jumping over him. Crossbody. Ra Rudy's so close. Two. Look out of two again. I am losing my voice. Sabot kick there by BB Disco. Hio Del Reyes can't believe Ra Rooney is still fighting. By now, people are starting to just say, BB Disco, just end this already. But Ra Rudy is trying. BB Disco trying to shake the cobwebs out of his head. Gonna try it one last time. One more time with the vinyl cutter. No, a counter again by Ra Rudy Rudo. Why won't Ra Rudy just die? Why won't he stay down? Ra Rooney is still fighting! Wait! Let's go for the Shining Wizard! The Shining Wizard! He used this to beat Rocky Blade! Can he beat BB Disco? No, he's going to the top rope! Chevy to his mentor! One! Two! Three! He did it! He did it! Ra Rooney did it! Ra Rooney Bruno is the king of Iron Fist! I can't believe it! Earlier tonight, I would have never thought he would make it to the semis. I would have never thought he would make it to the final. I would have never thought he would have won this final. I would have never thought he would have gotten a World Heavyweight title shot. But he's done it! 
unbelievable match. A roller coaster of emotion. The winner of this match. And new winner of the Fist of Iron Tournament, Rudy Muto. I have lost my voice calling this match. Muto using the moon salt after his mentor, the great Muto. The great Muda. Keiji Muto. And there's Saint Almeida. Applauding his tag team partner. Bro Rudy still can't believe it. I can't believe it. And look at this. The sportsmanship by BB Disco. Raising the hand of Rahu Rudy Muto. And now Rahu Rudy Muto gets to sit on the throat of Iron Fist. And this is symbolic. He's not only sitting upon the throne of being King of Iron Fist, but this is symbolic as he's going to dethrone, as he hopes to dethrone the World Heavyweight Champion, Hijo Del Reyes. Ladies and gentlemen, this is being TCW Asterisk, Fist of Iron Uprise. I'm Equate Delavine. I'll see you next time.